The next book is Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a super exciting unboxing video. HarperCollins sent me a giant box full of their new releases coming out soon, so they sent me seven, which I'm going to talk to you guys about. So without further ado, let us get started. I'm going to talk about them from the date of their release, so from January up until April, I believe, is the fourth month. Is that right? January, February, March, April. Yes! Look at me knowing my months. So the first book that they sent me is Circle of Shadows, and this is by Evelyn Skye. This is supposed to be released in January 2019. It follows a girl named Sora who has the ability to move as silent as a ghost and throw throwing stars with lethal accuracy, and then it also follows a boy named Damien who has the ability to basically fight with his hands behind his back, like he's just a really good fighter. They're training to be part of the Society of Tigus, and this is a society which is marked by the gods to help protect the kingdom, but the kingdom is free of violence since a rebellion occurred. They get sent off on a standard scouting mission and they discover a group of individuals who are training to fight. So they both decide that the best way to protect their kingdom is to infiltrate this group so that's what they do and it's basically the story of that but it says that it's a thrilling new fantasy series inspired by feudal Japan perfect for fans of Lee Bardugo and Renee Adahe so I'm intrigued it sounds really good and I really like the cover so the next book I have is called The Field Guide to the North American Teenager and this is by Ben Phillip and this is also supposed to be released January 2019. This kind of reminds me of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide if you guys ever seen that show. It is so funny. It follows a Canadian named Norris who moves to Texas. When he attends school he decides that he's going to categorize everybody into three categories. The cheerleaders, the jocks, and the loners. He figures this is just something that he can do to amuse himself until he gets to return back to Canada, and then he meets a girl. The girl's name is Aardi, and he quickly realizes that she doesn't really fall into any of the three categories. On prom night, he makes a fool of himself, and then it's basically the story of him realizing that he might actually belong in Texas after all. Like I said, it reminds me of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, so I'm kind of interested to see what it's all about and Ashley from HarperCollins said it was one of her favorite books so I'm very interested. The next book I am so excited about and it is The Blood Spell by CJ Redwine and this is a retelling of Cinderella and if you know me I love retellings so I am so excited for this and this one is supposed to be released February 2019. The next book sounds really interesting. It's called The Cruelin by Amy Ewig. The book follows Sarah who feels that she's never belonged with her people, the Cruelin, and she's been waiting for the sever between her world up above and the world on earth. The only thing is is that there needs to be a sacrifice in order for this tether to be broken and she ends up being chosen as the sacrifice and she unexpectedly survives and lands on a new planet. She quickly realizes that she is in a lot of danger because she is very different from the humans that inhabit this place and it's basically her journey trying to find her way back to her home planet. But this sounds really good in my opinion and it is also supposed to be released February 2019 and apparently it is a epic fantasy duology so there's going to be a second book in the series. The next book is The Black Coats by Colleen Oakes and this is supposed to be released February 2019 as well. I'm going to read the tagline for you guys because it sounds pretty cool. It says roses are red, violets are blue, if you hurt us we're coming for you. Powerful, thrilling, and deeply resonant, The Black Coats is a contemporary novel perfect for fans of Moxie and the female of the species. It's the story we need right now. I love the female of the species so I'm very excited about this. It basically follows a girl named Thea whose cousin Nicole died and then she gets invited to join this secret society called the Black Coats which work to defend and seek justice for women and so it's basically the story of them trying to find justice for Nicole's killer. 
but it sounds really cool in my opinion and I'm very very excited for it. The next book is Other Words for Smoke and this is by Sarah Maria Griffin and this is supposed to be released March 2019. It follows a house full of witches who all of a sudden go missing and all of the town folk don't know where they went. Only May and Rosa know what happened but they don't want to talk. It takes place over five summers and it's basically the story of what happened to these women and it says that it's for fans of Liva Bray's The Diviners, which you guys know I loved, so very excited about this and the cover looks super creepy, so I'm into it. And then the final arc that they sent me is called The Meaning of Birds and this is by J. Robin Brown and this is supposed to be released April 2019. It follows Jess who has fallen in love with a girl named Vivi and she's always had the plan to go to art school. That's when Vivi dies and all of her plans basically go to the shits because she's heartbroken that Vivi dies but then she meets another girl who is hopefully going to bring back her inspiration. I really like this cover so I'm definitely intrigued by it and I just think that it's going to be a super cute but also like deep book so I'm very excited about this one as well. Alright guys so those were the seven books HarperCollins sent me. I just want to say thank you so much to them for sending me this box. It was so nice of them and let me know down below if you guys plan on reading any of these once they come out and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>